Good morning, everyone. It's Friday of the 28th week. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. You ever felt worthless? You ever felt like life doesn't matter? Well, in today's gospel, Jesus says to us, we're worth so much to God, so much more than we'll ever fully, fully understand. So if you're having a bad day, if you're down in the dumps, maybe today's gospel will shed a little light on God's love for you. For the times we felt alone or abandoned, we ask God's forgiveness. And so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that when we always ponder spiritual things, we may carry out both in word and in deed that which is pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, in Christ we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one, who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. In him you also, who have heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and have believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, which is the first installment of our inheritance toward redemption as God's possession, to the praise of his glory, the word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Exult you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With the ten-string lyre, chant his praises. Bless the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the Lord looks down. He sees all mankind. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Friends, may the Lord be with you. Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, so many people were crowding together that they were trampling one another underfoot. Jesus began to speak first to his disciples. Beware of the leaven that is the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. There is nothing concealed that will not be revealed, nor secret that will not be made known. Therefore, whatever you have said in darkness will be heard in the light. And whatever you have whispered behind closed doors will be proclaimed on the housetops. I tell you, my friends, do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but after that can do no more. I shall show you whom to fear. Be afraid of the one who, after killing, has the power to cast into Gehenna. Yes, I tell you, be afraid of that one. Are not five sparrows sold for two small coin? Yet not one of them has escaped the notice of God. Even the hairs of your head have all been counted. Do not be afraid. You are worth more than many sparrows. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, when there is that phrase about um, even the hairs on your head have all been counted, Father Alco said they can count on one hand the hairs on my head. So anyway, um, interesting. I don't know if you've ever read, uh, Michael Downey is an educator. He wrote a book. Hope begins where hope begins. I want to say that again. Hope begins where hope begins. Taken some excerpts from it that I think are, are meaningful. Though hope is a gift, it demands that we recognize it as such, accept it, cooperate with it, make it our own. Hope is a virtue, a theological virtue, explicitly and directly concerned with our relationship to God. It is at once a gift and our activity. We grow in hope precisely by being hopeful, by acting hopefully. Hope must be exercised even in the face of what seems hopeless, and especially in the face of our own feelings of hopelessness. Now, how do we grow in hope? He goes on to say, hope moves through three steps. 
The first is the recognition that what I hope for, I do not yet possess or see without any, without any clarity. Second, I recognize that what I hope for may be difficult to achieve. Third, I see that even though what I hope for may be difficult, seemingly beyond my grasp, I do stand some chance of having it. It just might be possible. Goes on to say, hope is that inextricable sense of the possible of what might be. Without guarantees, hope struggles to find a way over each hurdle, one by one, and to find or make a path past every dead end. Hope emerges as our own resources seem to fail us. When we come undone in the presence of a paralyzing situation that seems without possibility. What brings us to despair is the feeling that we are at an impasse from which there is no escape. Yet even if we are stopped in our tracks, hope finds a way. I hope you will reflect on that because there's a lot of good things in what he shares with us. God bless. For those people that have given up on themselves or given up on others, we pray. The gift of hope, when we always see it as a possibility in life, we pray. That we may realize that God sent his son into the world so that we would be a people of hope, we pray. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to truly bless us through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work with human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice on our hands for the praise and glory of his name. For our good and good of God's holy church. As we celebrate your mysteries, O Lord, with the observance that is your due, we humbly ask you that what we offer to honor your majesty may profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Father, you we live and move and have our being. Each day of our life, you show us the gift of a parent's love. Your Holy Spirit dwelling within us gives us here on earth the hope of an ending joy. And so we truly join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop. Remember Betty and Chick at Anisio and Juana Abulunas, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray that together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We now pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. To offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God. You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Grant, O oh Lord, that we may experience the effects of this salvation, which is pledged to us by these mysteries through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God's blessing truly guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Have a good weekend, everyone.